Sheriff. Oh, I work south of here. He works south of here. What did he do? Oh, don't worry. He's not dangerous. Robbed a store. First offense. He robbed a store. See one on you, they'll shoot. Now, I'll protect your valuables too. Just drop them in this blank. I'll uh, do what the sheriff says. Hurry up, those rubs will be here. Oh, this that's beautiful. My Just drop them right in there. Yeah. We'll take care of them. Get them up. Just keep quiet, and nobody's gonna get hurt. Oh, that's trouble. It won't come off. Well, that's too bad. I saw a man lose a finger like that. Chop clean for a buoy night. <laughs> All right, everybody get down low now. <laughs> Don't want anybody in my line of fire. Give me that strong box for Cumbres. Why don't you do something decent for once in your life? Go back in the other car and help those other people, and I'll ask the judge to go easy with you. All right, keep your heads down. Don't shoot. Here it is. I want to thank you kindly, folks. You're an outstanding group of citizens, and I'll always remember your generosity. Hey!
Girls, get up there and go to work. Somebody will be soup. Gladys, quit feeling sorry for yourself. Someone's got to do it, and I haven't got time. Three measly eggs. Those hands of hers are sure laying down on the job. <laughs> <laughs> you want them for dinner? Sure. How? Well, fried. Benny, I fixed the gate, but the hinges need oiling. Si, senora. Oh, would you check the pump? I don't know if I packed it tight enough. Está bien, senora. You're doing a great job, senora. Well, thank you. Why don't you paint it on the barn? I want the neighbors to know. After dinner, I want to take a look at that little piece of property over by Goodwin, so uh, we'll get ready. Oh, sure, I'll just tell the butler to finish cleaning up the house, and the upstairs maid can do the laundry, and the downstairs maid can lay out my white satin dress. Robbery. Where? Happened about two hours ago. Anybody hurt? No, thank God, but they got 12,000 in cash. Benny, saddle up Almanac. I'll cool my horse out and wait for you. What's wrong, Chuck? Just a little trouble in town. Nothing to get excited over. Hey, well, what is it? Uh, oh, same old thing. Some drugs got out of hand. Well, why can't Joe do it? I mean, what are deputies for? Huh? I said, why can't Joe do it? Because he, he's an abacue, giving testimony on that claim Judge Rue got stabbed three weeks a month ago. Don't you remember? No. You look kind of grim to be going after some drunks. Well, this helps sober him up awful fast. Will you be back soon? Just as soon as I lock him up. Train robbery, Miss Jarvis. Art, got to hand it to you. Whole thing went off as slick as spit on a round doorknob. Well, let me more, Billy. I got a sleepless hate for railroads. Four years ago, I had a farm in Iowa. That is my hand. Cornfield like you've never seen. Government let the railroad come through and take it all. Mile on either side of the tracks. Give me $22 an acre, kick me off land. I've been working for 20 years. I'm just getting some of that back. Stop worrying. The sheriff in Coombers is so fat he uses a barrel hoop for a belt, and he couldn't catch a milk cow if it had a bell on it. Tell me about it when we get to Mexico. We'll be down in the desert before he can saddle his horse. wanton robbery in the past four months. I've been appointed district attorney of this county by the President of the United States to bring law and order. Then why don't you call in the federal marshals? Meanwhile, take my advice and tell the railroads to ride shotgun on their cabs. Those of you who are on the train, is there anyone here who can identify the outlaws? I got a good Charles? Idea. Billy Massey was one of them. You gotta be wrong, Mr. Bonnie. Billy's in Mexico. I'm sorry, Charles. It was Billy. Massey. Massey, I believe he's an old friend of yours, isn't he, Sheriff? Yes, we grew up together. Now, I insist that you... You'll stick to practice in law. I'll enforce it. Joe, interview the witnesses. That, Sheriff, is my prerogative. Passengers on the train will please come to my office. How did they ride out? South. Four of them. Probably headed for Mexico. Uh, I'm sad about this, Charles. I've known you and Billy since the day you came to this county. Uh, better get out to Wilson's office. He's waiting for you. Oh, no hurry. 
He'll take 10 minutes talking about how the president appointed him to bring law and order to this lawless community. Yeah, you'd think he'd save some of that breath from breathing. <laughs> stupid about it. It just don't make sense always working for somebody else. For 20 years, we've been saying we're going to get a ranch of our own. We haven't got enough money yet. Well, there's enough to bet on me in that shooting contest Sunday. Lefty Cullen. What's your name, sir? Sanchez. Sanchez. Yes, sir. I'll be right with you. Plenty of time for Put everybody. Three on. Put three on Taylor there, too. Sanchez. Now look what they're doing. Billy, we got $1,500. Don't you think that's not enough? We need $2,500 for that ranch. He's a professional sharpshooter. You mean he was. Now, you cover all bets. Oh, Billy, you're crazy. But I'd like to talk to him. Well, if I miss, which don't seem likely, we can always cuff our meals at Kate's. You, you'll take us, won't you? Oh, sure. I've got a special credit dinner. Biscuits and salt. Uh, now, you just plant a kiss on old Betsy here, and uh, don't worry. <laughs> don't bother with the small bets. I'll cover mean? the 1500 Okay, but I don't like your confidence. Mr. Bonnie? Will you hold this bet here? Hey, looks my choice, Look at the bottom of that bottle. By God, it went clean through the net. They better start humping pretty soon or we ain't gonna have much of a herd. Yeah, well, if that bull was only half as horny as you, we'd be in business. Chuck, you want me to go after him? Him? You told me there were four of them. I meant if Bonnie was right. If it is Billy, if it is Billy, I don't want you to go. He shoots better than you. What'll happen if you get a beat on him first? I don't know. I'll get some trackers. You better load me four days supply of the mule. Coming back this way. You want to take this for identification? Yeah, good idea. If uh, Billy did it, any guesses why? Busted, most likely, huh? Why the hell didn't he come to me? It's a nice looking gold watch. We all took the same chances, but somehow to divvy it up don't seem the same. When we met back in Bisbee, I said we share. I didn't say we share exactly even. Yeah, well, I am beholden to you. you. You invited me. That's very true. We should part friends. Why don't you take up your share and get riding? Well, I am grateful. Everything considered, I am a most fortunate man. You lifted me out of poverty, opened your hearts, and you opened my eyes. Now, let's close up the blanket. Come on, close it up. That's it. Stand back about 10 feet. No, not straight. Now, just in case one of you got something in your sleeve beside your arm, we're going to do some ear grabbing. And Art, you should learn not to be so greedy. I never naturally like greedy people. Ah, oh, 
Mike shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to have to ask you to throw your belts away. a day and grub. Two fifty. And I want Big Eye for one of them. Big Eye, ten dollars. He speak your tongue good. I know. My wife taught him. Everybody gets the same. Two fifty. And you? That's uh, three dollars. We heard you'd be out here. Wilson thought you might need a little help. Wanted to make sure Massey didn't get away from you. That's very nice of him. Well, he asked me and them to ride with you. Not this time. I'm using trackers. I hope that was an accident. Get off that horse. It's not up here. Okay, change mine. Two dollar fifty. <laughs> okay, change my mind too. Three dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I didn't want you to worry. Why should I worry? I mean, just because the last sheriff got it in the back. How did you find out about the train? You forgot to tell Pook it was a big secret. Well, at least you got them without any shooting. Chuck, please don't lie to me anymore. Where are you going? All right, you want the truth? Yes. Trackers. Well, we had a bullet hole, what, about four months ago? Okay, for God's sake. How about one on the other side, or maybe one right down the middle? We've eh? been through a all nice, this before. A nice, clean widow maker. Here's to the widow. Billy was one of them. I don't believe it. Jack Body saw him and rode the train. Billy's in Mexico. Billy posed as a sheriff, ten star and all. We had a letter. That letter was two years ago. Why did he have to pick this county? Because he knows every rock, hill, and creek of it. Does he know that you're the sheriff? I'll have to ask him if I can catch him. Hope you don't. For my sake, he's a better shot. You don't have to remind me. Chuck. Chuck! Uh, I, uh... I know I stick pins in you and I nip at you and I rub sand in your craw. But it's, um... 
only because I worry. And I worry because I love you. Even a blind Indian could follow these tracks. Four horses. One of them's got a cricket shoe, left four legs. See? Straight on this side. Then it curves. Mm -hmm. That's where they went out. Let's move. Rabbit, the only thing you can cook? Oh, no. I make a hell of an owl stew. Let's go over to Kate's place and get something decent to eat. Yeah, then maybe we can take her dancing afterwards. Right. Hey, another one. Oh, this is a big one. He throw them away. Why, you mangy red eared and you not only steal, but you're a liar, too. Well, he's gonna learn the hard way, right, Billy? Yes, sir. Lesson's gotta be taught right here and now. Oh, and uh, thank the Lord that this fine gentleman has the courage to protect this town from lying and thieves! <laughs> Good, Chuck. Oh. Bunkhouse tonight, but tomorrow you get back to the reservation and keep out of town. How is he? He's still unconscious. Most likely left here at first light. Got a lot of catching up to do. I never thought someday I'd be tracking Billy. Who did I? So I don't like doing this, Chuck. That one damn bit, and you know why. How do you think I feel?
Buenos dias. Uh, big, uh, muy grande. Muy, muy grande. Oh, husband, uh, esposo? No, es mi padre. Padre, eh? Padre aquí? No, mi padre está trabajando. Solo? Sí, señor. Hungry, venga, hombre. Venga, sir. Mind if I do? Somebody had a hell of a nosebleed. Somebody got dragged, too. Chuck? Yeah. Look at this. The one with the crooked shoe in South Alone, see? Yeah. And galloping. Look at the length of that stride. Probably has something to do with that blood back there. Oh, it is! más? Oh, bueno, basta. This chili can sure heat a man up. And you don't help cool me down, either. The other three horses joined up here and went south, too. I guess following cricket shoe. Yeah, but going slower. Maybe catering to whoever got shot. It's like somebody took a shot of crooked shoe, hightailing it out of here. Let's move. Yeah, okay, Nick. Wasn't much of a funeral. Coyotes don't get the buzz as well. Any guess how far behind we are? Not yet. As soon as we come across some green grass or horse trappings, I can tell you. Como me gusta. ¿Qué pasa? Snake got him. Won't be much good to us now. No se preocupe, tomás son cazadores. Right, hunters are hunting for me. ¿Qué pasa? Magnífico, muchas gracias, adiós. Ah, let's go. Adiós. Conozco. Es un hombre muy bueno. Mira que me dio. Muchas gracias. My guess is he did more than just water his horse. Where the hell did he go? His only chance is Mexico. He knows by now, same as us, somebody got to be on our tails. You're going the wrong way, farmer, but just keep going.
Stampeding Mustangs. Pretty damn smart. Takes around six hours for stepped on grass to come up again. So far, it's come back this much, about two hours worth. Your brother see anything over there? Yeah, single tracks. The crooked shoe. Headed back north toward the mountains? What the hell for? Cause the two of us chasing them went south. We keep going to the border, huh? Thanks for the excuse, but we'll head that way. Billy's got the loot, and they want that as much as they want him. And let the others go? I can't ride two ways at once. I wish I hadn't told you. So do I. But I'll bet you eight to five they ain't friendly. We better go higher. It's about an hour old. Stinking way to tell time. <laughs> but at least we're gaining on him. Billy! Billy! Go back, and we sure as hell can't go that way. Tops. We're gonna get to the other side. Huh? We're gonna go tiptoe light and easy like we were sneaking out the back door and the husband was coming in the front, okay? Billy just running in big ass circles. Then he'll hottail across the border. Show up in Nogales or Magdalena, like you said. No, he turned. We missed him. He's back there somewheres. Well, time for washing it out. No. We'll get him, Perry. Do you think he went over, or do you think that's what he wants us to think? Yeah. He kicked this over with his boot. The underside is always darker. Yeah? Something stepped on this and flipped it over. Not too long ago. Could have been a deer or something. Yeah. That's far from a horse.
Duke, who's your friend? What are you doing here? Just riding by. Hello, Kate. Well, just get up on and ride out. You held up a train, you fool. Word didn't ever used to travel that fast. Billy, you can't stay here. Come on, that ain't friendly. Now, do we kiss or do we just shake hands, Mrs. Jarvis? Billy, you can't stay here. Well, why can't I? Chuck around? Where's the old moose? He's out looking for you. Well, how do you know I was back in these parts? Because he's the sheriff now. Chuck's a sheriff? Yes. And I came back here? What happened to old Metcalf? Murdered a year and a half ago. You know, and I told the other men I was riding with that the sheriff was a pot bellied dog. Oh, I might have known. Good old Chuck. Solid as a steam engine. Billy, please leave. Why don't you relax, Kate? They're heading for a gorge looking for my carcass. It'll be two days before they get down and back. Kate, ain't you going to invite me in? All right. You must be hungry. Mm. Hungry enough to eat a saddle blanket. You alone? Yes, Benny's gone to town. Well, it sure looks different. Real female touch now. New furniture. Pretty white curtains. Have a look at that. Remember how we used to go dancing, Kate? Mm hmm. I'll never forget when you and me won that waltz at contest. Old Chuck never could get the knack of it. He always danced like he was wearing wooden underwear. He's a very good dancer, now. Oh, that was quite a day. Chuck was as helpless as a frozen snake. Charles and Catherine, as justice of the peace of this county, it gives me a lot of pleasure to pronounce you man and wife. What God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I thought you and Chuck would have a kid by now. I don't see a sign of one. There's a grave out back. Well, I'm sorry, Kate. I didn't know. Wasn't Chuck satisfied to ranching? Oh, sure. He still ranches. But he is now chasing idiots like you. County needed a good sheriff. So the people in town persuaded him to take the job. You like being married to a sheriff? No. I buried my first husband when I was 19. He was a lawman. Found him on my doorstep. Looked like a hay rake had passed over him. I think that you think I don't like you. I stepped in between Damon and Pythias. Who are they? Juggling act. They play all the better saloons. Oh. I've often wondered why you and me never hooked up, Kate. Look up to the tail of a kite with no string on it? Uh, might have been a fun ride. I love Chuck. Oh, he's lovable. You think lovable at mine if I use his razor? I don't know. Well, at least, Kate, let me water my damn horse. Use his razor. Why don't you get yourself a new stove? We, we got that second hand when we moved in here. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's dependable. Like Chuck, it stays around and doesn't get into trouble. The pump out front is broken. You better use the trough in the back.
No, nothing ever went right after I left you and Chuck. We didn't chase you off. No, no, no. But the view from the window of that shack is awful clear. You know, every now and then at night when the lamps were lit in here, I'd watch you moving around. Just a shadow through the curtain. But that was some shadow. And I'd hear your voice, no louder than a faraway echo, soft and appealing. Man can't stand that too long. You know, if they took half of you and half of Chuck and kind of mashed it up into one human being, it'd really be something. Well, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And you tell Chuck that I'm sorry I put him in a bind. And I swear when it's safe, I'm going back down to Mexico, and then you and Chuck can come and visit, and we'll have some laughs. He'll keep on looking for you. Oh, I don't know. I think just this once, he'll look the other way. He wouldn't go to your place, would he? Billy? No, he wouldn't do that. All right, let's go flush him out. You hired me to track Billy, not to shoot him. So I did. Be at my office in the morning, pick up your money. Yeah! Stayed in Durango, spent the money for my half of the ranch, went to Cuba with the Rough Riders. And when I came back here, I drifted along the border, caught the fever, Lost a lot of weight. I was so thin I could have took a bath in a shotgun barrel. That's Chuck. I knew how the dogs sound. Chuck. Where is he? He's gone. He's gone. Told Kate you'd look the other way. You fooled me. Drop it, Billy. Drop it. Chuck, I can get three shots off while you're trying to get one. You know that. Silly damn thing to do, Kate. Get out of the way, Kate. I said move. Give me the gun, Billy. Deputy, you got there. Mm. I saw the grave, Chuck. I wish I'd have known him. Eat your supper. Never saw anybody work so slow on a pork chop. Well, I figured as soon as I finish, we, we gotta go. No. You smell a little gamey. Have a bath. We'll go in, in the morning. I might sneak out. Not handcuffed to that bed upstairs. Not handcuffed. You even sound like a sheriff. You like sheriffing? What's a job? What kind of salary you get? No salary. I... Oh, he gets two dollars for serving a warrant, three dollars for arresting anybody. And Thirty cents a mile for cents chasing mile. idiots like you. Well, then you ought to thank me for doubling back. I let you make a few extra bucks, and I figure uh, all told, you must clear about. Two hundred a year. Yeah, about that. Um, just think, only half of what's in that saddlebag might uh, be about twenty-five years worth. I also pick up a little extra by turning in anybody trying to bribe a peace officer. Oh, now you don't think I'd try to bribe a straight up standing honest citizen like you? <laughs> of course not. Why don't you put that gun away? I ain't going no place. 
You mind me asking why you're stopping trains? I was infected with a social disease known as bad luck. Juries are beginning to take a dim view of bad luck. All right. I'll be the best jailbird Santa Fe has ever had. What do you think I'll get? Circumstances, they might show clemency. Clemency? I, uh, I'll have to testify, of course. Let me see if I can reconstruct the whole thing. Well, I met these fellows. I'll do the talking. You just answer questions. Now, these three men were professionals. You were broke, and they got you a little drunk. Hey, you made drunk? I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, they got me drunker than a sheep herder on payday. And I didn't know what I was agreeing to. And so they took advantage of your condition. It was me. Then miserable. when you sobered up, you refused to go through with it. Is that right? Okay, you got a Bible? I'll swear on it. Then they threatened you if you didn't go along. Yeah, they tied my hands behind the chair, and then they took out a knife and tried to cut me. I through. thought so. Now. After the, uh, after the holdup, you decided to turn over everything that was stolen to the proper authorities. Uh, now, you, you, you told me if I'm wrong. Oh, no, you're so right. Kate, where's that Bible? Oh, I don't think you're going to need it. Maybe Chuck might, but... So you waited till they were all sound asleep, then you gathered up all the loot, and one of them woke up and took a shot at you. Tried to part my hair with a 45. Naturally, you had to shoot back in self-defense. Naturally. God, Chuck, you're a regular Pinkerton detective, the way you figured this whole then thing. Then they chased after you, but you doubled back and came right straight home here. To surrender. Every nickel, dime, quarter, dollar. I was just oozing with repentance. Necklace, Because it was sinful of me to let rings. those thieves pour whiskey down my throat. And he handed me his gun without any trouble at all. Well, yeah. If the jury is convinced the way I am, you just might possibly get a reward from the railroad. How much? <laughs> <laughs> How is he? He's still unconscious. Oh. Mm. He's coming to now. Headaches, something awful. Oh. Well, it'll feel better in the morning. Now, let me see the hand. Oh, it looks better. How does it feel? A little better. Now, soak it in the hot water. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh. And then over in the cold. Oh. And just keep switching it back and forth till the swelling's gone. Oh, well, I, uh, I prefer the hot. Good. I could have done without bumping into you. It sure was good to see Kate again. Still as pretty to look at as four aces. Somehow she don't seem happy like she used to be. She's not complaining. Never did. Want some advice? Depends. Take her away for a few days. Uh, give her a treat. Have some fun. 
She likes it at the ranch. Now, don't be so damn sure. I still think Kate's getting mighty tired of being married to seven square feet of the Rock of Ages. I didn't know you were an expert on marriage. An expert on women. Let's move. But the law states specifically that the felonious taking of personal property aboard a railroad train is a capital offense, punishable by death. Suppose he throws himself on the mercy of the court. The judge might consider clemency. Perhaps. However, the railroads will apply the greatest of pressure to prevent it. After all, it was they who were the prime movers in having the legislation enacted. Then why don't they go after the others who have at least six holdups to their credit instead of trying to hang the one who surrendered and returned everything? I'm not one to ignore extenuating circumstances. The fact that no one on the train was injured and that he's made restitution might be persuasive. If he'll reveal the names of his accomplices, I will consider a plea of rectus in Curia. Huh? When and if you receive the information, I shall be in my office. Billy, give me the names of the others. I don't think Wilson swallowed my story about how it all happened, but he said if you'd help him, he'd let you plead uh, something like a rectum curious. You want to cut the deck a little deeper? That's Eastern talk, for you've changed and you won't do it again, okay? Now, who were they? What if I don't tell you? A rope and a trapdoor. Come on, Billy, don't be a horse's ass. You want to trade your Adam's apple for a couple of heisters and steal your eyeballs? Chuck, Art Williams, his son Terry, and some dumb ox named Mike. I don't know his last name, but he don't need one anymore. I could have shot you last night. Why didn't you? I don't know. I just keep making these dumb mistakes. Frank, come lock this door. We got a dangerous man in here. Oh, I'll finish your work. I'll get it. Say hello to Kate for me. Does she ever make some uh, extra of those honey biscuits? Just drop them through the bars. Oh. The district judge won't be coming through here for a week or so on your trial. Hey, no hurry. I can wait. Well, in the meantime, I thought I'd take Kate away for a few days. Yeah? All right, but that's the only thing you're an expert in. Be glad to come with you. Frank? Do me a favor, will you? Take care of Billy, you know, a little extra on his plate. Sure. Oh, and uh, Billy's horse on the corral. See that he gets fed, too. Put that down. Oh, all right. Put the leg irons on me. I want to go outside to the privy. You just went. Yeah. It, it, it's my ears this time. I, I'm going crazy. I keep hearing that same thing over and over and over. <laughs> Why don't you stop playing that thing and grab a shovel? You're doing great, Chuck. Yeah, and here's your share. Ah! <laughs> don't that damn tune have an end? I ain't got no end yet, but it'll come to me someday. You gotta do it in rhythm, Kate. It says. Like the way you like to waltz. One, two, three, 
One. That's it. Oh, See? That's easy. Here. One, two, three. Right? Two, three. One, two, three. Faster. We haven't gone away in a long time. Uh, you mean what I think you mean? Well, it's been over a year since we... You haven't got a fever, no, have no, you? No, no, Kate, I mean it. Billy's trial won't come up for a couple of weeks. We can use the money from that bull we sold. Let's go someplace. Have some fun, like we used to. Oh. Let's go to Carson City and see the Corbett Fitzsimmons fight. Santa Fe. Or we can go to the rodeo in Prescott. Santa Fe. Or we can go to Snow Lake. Go fishing. You like that. Mm. Uh, Santa Fe to shop. Shop? Mm hmm We just got that thing. And that gramophone. What else do we need? Well, it just may paralyze you, but I need some new clothes. Mm. Um, Santa Fe? Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. Oh! Go dancing! Not me. Oh, yes, you? It's easy. You remember the washing machine. One, two, three, Santa Fe. And the restaurants and the clothes are dry! <laughs> Martinez tells me you're trying Billy day after tomorrow. What's the hurry? I can't see any reason not to. I thought the judge wasn't going to be here for another week or so. Sent me a telegram. Arrives in the morning. So you can get it over fast while the sheriff's in Santa Fe. Can I trust enjoying himself? I've been practicing law for 20 years, and I've seen some pretty shady... Mr. Bonney, the sheriff has done his job. Now I'll do mine. And I'll do mine. I'll defend Billy. <laughs> Don't you think you'll appear rather ludicrous? A defense attorney who'll be my star witness? After all, I have your sworn testimony identifying Messi. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Just leave the suitcases here. Do you want? Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> There's more. You got a mighty cold jail here. Oh, Chuck told me what you were doing. I appreciate it. Your friend the sheriff almost had me convinced what a respectable citizen you really are. Well, like everyone else, I made a few mistakes. I wrote those names down that you wanted. They're professionals. I'm not. I was broke. So you shot and killed a man? In self-defense. I presume you have witnesses to testify to that uh, fact? 
I don't know where they are. How unfortunate. I sent some telegrams this morning. I find you've been in jails from El Paso to Cumbres. Well, uh, fights, drunk charges. Uh, I swear, that that's all behind me. So it is. I gave myself up. That was your last mistake. If you'll glance out of your window, you might look into your future. Put that on my arm. Sit down and stay put. Tell Chuck I had to do it. Billy! Don't yell and back up. No, 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 no. Get back in that corner and don't move, or it'll be your last move. Oh, please don't shoot, please don't. Go after it. Morning. Just a little something to milk the cows in. Oh, it's beautiful. But how often do you have to water it? Those people in Paris sure make a pretty hat, don't they? So I've heard, ma'am. If you ever get one in, we'd sure like to see it. <laughs> well, which one do you like? Take all three of them. And the two hats. Yes? Oh! <laughs> Sheriff Carvis? In here. Oh. Hotel said you were here. It's important. Thank you. How much do we owe you? Uh, just a minute. Get dressed. Hurry up. But he's a... my head against the wall and took off. Well, the telegram said he shot Joe. Flesh wound, he'll be all right. Why did he bust out? He gave me his word. Wilson told him he was gonna hang. Wilson, you miserable bastard. Pook, take Mrs. Jarvis home. But and Pook, no. bring my gear and my horse. No, Chuck, home, I am please. not going to go. Please. He was far on the road toward Beckman at noon. 
I've already contacted 12 men and three trackers. They're standing by with bloodhounds. I'm the one who appoints deputies, not you. I have the authority. I contacted the governor during your absence. Well, I'm not absent now, and I don't need your men. I'm going after him alone. Then let him get away. Is he riding his own horse? Yes. He held me at gunpoint while he saddled him. All right, I know that horse's tracks. Once I pick them up, I'll get him. If I'd had a pistol, I would have shot him. Well, it's a good thing you didn't have your pistol, or you wouldn't be here talking to me right now. Who spotted him, Beckman? No one's going to accept a concocted story this time, Sheriff. Yours or his. I'll give you just two days. After that, I'll send a posse. Come with me, Mr. Barney. Why? What are you trying to prove? What choice do I have? Let the posse take him! And let 12 men blast away at him? Now get home! You, uh, you ready, Miss Jarvis? <laughs> yes, Pooh. Sheriff's going after him alone. You in the mood for a deal? Maybe I could use two extra guns. Half. What's in Massey's saddlebags? You're kind of expensive. You're kind of smart. But also a sizable reward out for you. And everything goes to Kate. Except that little parcel of land over at Goodwin's. That's for Benny. You, uh, figuring on getting yourself killed, Charles? I got a good chance at it. Tops, how about you and me putting on 30 miles today, huh? I think the old moose is getting anxious again. They just follow on nice and easy. Too far behind. Him, Perry. What are you doing with that? Special load for Billy. Busted glass and scrap iron. It's like a sheriff settling down for the night. No fires.
Right now, we'll take it nice and easy. We didn't even bend a pine needle. be all right. Not if Billy gets the first shot. I wish there was something I could do to... Just hope he doesn't find him. Where did he go? My friend, looks like we lost him someplace. Billy. That's him all right. How about surfing around? Cut Billy off. No. Let the sheriff do his work. Then we move in. 
storm hits, we'll lose them both. Don't you ever sleep? around the upwind side, then we'll put the fire between him and us. Come on! I want to get burned. Come on. Okay, if you won't let me lead you, I'm gonna have to ride out.
Billy. Billy, the next one's in your head. You got no place to go. Throw the rifle in the crick, then the gun. You sure are a persistent, bastard. You forget. I get 30 cents a mile. That's the third one. Let's go. Hey, watch that thing. You ain't that good a shot. You might miss and hit me. I said throw the rifle in the crick. Now the gun. Chuck, this is a good one. It'll take me a week to clean it. I'll be right down. How'd you find me down here? It wasn't easy. You're getting tricky. Putting that rawhide on? Playing hide and seek in a fire? It was all hide, believe me. Don't forget to tell Kate how sorry I am that I broke up her trip to Santa Fe. Drop your rifle. Oh, Billy ain't got nothing to shoot. Where'd you get that gun? The one on the raffle. Joe's gun. I should have remembered. All I want's your horse. It's up there, but I'm finding you pretty hard on horses. I got a spare one, too, Billy. Trick press. I should have remembered. Across the creek. Did you bring a posse? No. Who's out there? This is Sheriff Jarvis. Who is it? We want Billy Massey. They ain't no posse. Why are they shooting? Who are they? Those are the friends you asked me about. Art Williams? Sounds like he picked up a couple of recruits. So. Don't waste them, Chuck. I'll watch up the hill and you, you watch down there. Sheriff! Send Billy Massey with his hands up. Make sure that saddlebag comes with him. You can go on back to Cumbres. Well, now, that's an interesting proposition. It's a little smoky in here, but I like it. And I need company. Hey, Art, I'm set. Let me know when you're ready. It sounds like old frog voice Clem. This trip might be worth it after all. Glad you think so. All right! Start firing! <laughs> Why did we have to pick this place? 
Bet this was once a picnic ground. Sure as hell ain't now. Take a bow. Hey! Hey! I think I got him. What's one from four? Used to be three. What do you say we make it two to two? Surprise me. Now it's even money. You had to take a bow, too, huh? Oh, I never knew getting nicked in the ass could hurt so much. I'm glad it was you and not me, because that's where my brains is. Uh, these friends of yours must be using bear guns. Uh, they're not close friends. Oh. Uh, you ready to send him out? Sheriff, don't feel too good now. Arch, I'll throw the saddlebag out if you leave us two horses. I want you and the saddlebag. Still greedy, aren't you, Arch? Here. Throw the damn saddlebag. I'll cover you. Wish I had some dynamite to put in it. Or maybe I wish we'd spent the afternoon Somewhere else, rounding up the herd at our ranch. You think you can... You think you can shoot the hit, Chuck? Yeah, I, I, I can make a noise. What do you got in mind? I'm going out and shoot the man down. Aim towards Art. I'm the one with the glass head. Get it, farmer! after him all his life. Well, you're not going to get him. Bill, you stop spinning me or I'll dunk you. I'm not spinning you, Chuck. You just got in the way. I'm spitting at the world. That's the world spitting back at you. 